Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and welcome to another episode of Watch and Learn. Today we're going to focus on bezels. We're going to be talking about the compass bezel that you see on a bunch of watches. I've got two Seikos here I'm going to use for my examples. I've got a new Prospex and another one with an external rotating compass bezel. Uh, you may have noticed on the slide rule video that I did, the Seiko Flightmaster had the compass bezel. So again, you could use that also. Anything with a compass bezel will work, um, but you really don't even need a compass bezel. It can be any watch. Any watch can be used to find north, south, east, and west, and we'll get into that in the video. Uh, this is really all based on what's usually coined as the Boy Scout trick uh, of how to find north, south, east, and west if you are lost using nothing but the hour hand on your watch, and it really works. It's pretty cool. So before we get into the video, we'll do a quick wrist check. Uh, let's see, on this wrist today, I'm wearing an Orient Duo. It's a cool watch. It's got a little mechanical um, movement on one side and the quartz on the other. I also like the way the time is displayed on the automatic side. It's like a series of windows, uh, almost like an analog digital kind of thing. And the other watch, I'm still wearing my Scrooge McDuck, Time is Money. Uh, I guess I had a refound interest with it since I strapped it on for one of the other videos. Like I said, I will do a video on this uh, and the history of it. Uh, but anyway, let's get, uh, let's get cracking about compass bezels and see what they're all about. Okay, so here I've got two Seiko compass bezel watches. I'm using two of them just because this one on the left has an external bezel that you can rotate with your hands, and the one on the right has an internal bezel that you rotate via the crown at the 4 o'clock position. The model numbers, if you're interested, this is Seiko SRP669. And then the one on the right, this is a new Prospex release uh, for 2017. It wasn't in my other uh, video, uh, SRP A71. This is a USA model. Oh, and something else you may have noticed, I got these cool gloves with the company logo monogrammed on them. So I guess if I put it over here, you'll probably see the logo on the logo. That's pretty cool. So both of these watches serve the same purpose as far as a bezel is concerned, a compass bezel. So what I'm going to say for one really applies to the other. It's just in the method that you rotate the bezel. So the first thing you'll notice with a compass bezel is it always spins both ways contrary to a dive bezel, which usually just spins counterclockwise and it ratchets. It clicks into place every second or every half second. This is a smooth moving bezel. You know, the dive bezel, you don't want to rotate clockwise because it can inadvertently lengthen your dive time. Uh, but on a compass bezel, obviously, you don't have that concern. And then on the other guy, I'll just show you this crown over here at the bottom right. I rotate it, and I can, I can move the north, south, east, west. So the other thing you'll obviously notice if you know your compass directions is it's, they're numbered. You know, north would be zero degrees. East is 90 degrees, so it's it's got the 5 and 15 degree markings around the periphery. And then also, the SRP A21 gives the added benefit of actually spelling out NNE for north, northeast, NE for northeast, east, northeast, etc. around the dial. Now, do you really need a compass bezel on your watch? Probably not. Uh, you probably have a few things that can tell direction. I know everyone points to their cell phone, of course, but... You know, when the when the crap hits the fan and you and you lose all electronics for any reason, if you have a watch and it's got a compass bezel on it, you can tell direction. Actually, you don't even need the compass bezel. The compass bezel is good for really just telling you the four cardinal directions. The the trick that I'm going to show you, this popular Boy Scout trick as it's called, uh, gets you the main cardinal direction, north or south, and then you work everything else from there. Uh, but, you know, y you never know when something bad is going to happen, so it's good to know these little things. Mariners still carry sextants and star charts, and marine chronometers, etc., because you never know when electronics are going to go to pot. So how do you use the compass bezel? Well, first, we're going to obviously assume that the time is correct. Good thing to know. The other thing you have to know is that the watch must be in regular time. It cannot be in daylight savings time. So if you live in a part of the world where they celebrate the lovely tradition of daylight savings time, you do need to back the watch up about an hour to get out of daylight savings time and back into normal time. And that's because of where the sun is positioned in the sky throughout the day. You know, at noon, technically, it's directly overhead. But during daylight savings time, the moon is not 
at its zenith anymore. It has it's an hour off, you know, to account for that shift to lighter hours later in the day. There is something I wanted to show you, which unfortunately I cannot because it's broken. I have a Geochron that is currently in disrepair or it needs repair. Now, if you don't know what Geochron is, head online to geochron.com. And if I remember, I'll put a link down below. I usually don't advertise for other people, uh, but I'll put a link down below. Uh, it's such a nifty gadget. Again, it's another gadget that's totally superseded by technology. You can get the same thing out of a free screensaver. But they make these big wall map clocks that map the sunlight curve, where the sun is, pointing at that point on the Earth, uh, the sun's path as it goes between the 23rd parallels and left right for the equation of time. All great stuff, and it's a great talking point. I wanted to use it. I moved two years ago, and the Geochron, apparently uh, the glass broke, so I do need to get it repaired. So it will go off to the repair center soon and get fixed up. Anyway, so you, you set the time. You make sure you're on standard time. So next thing you got to do is find the sun. So here's our sun. It's a little red today. It's, it's gone supernova. You find the sun in the sky. You're going to hold the watch level. Now, obviously, for the camera, I'm, I'm going to hold it up this, and then when I got to do the directions, I'll, I'll flatten it out. You're going to point the hour hand towards where the sun is in the sky. You're not going to point it up at the sky. You can just find where the sun is and basically just drop it down. So let's say the sun was up here in the sky. You would just pretend like the sun was dropped down to the ground, and you point the hour hand at the sun. So I'm doing that now. You can see my hour hand is pointing at the sun. Then if you're in the northern hemisphere, which uh, quite surprisingly, most people do live in the north northern hemisphere. If you ever look at a map, uh, the southern hemisphere, starry Australia and lower South America, most people do live in the northern hemisphere. Uh, you just rotate the S for south, this right here, halfway between the hour hand and the 12 o'clock position. So I'm just going to do what you can see for the camera. So S is halfway between the hour hand, the white hand, and the 12 o'clock position. So now when I hold this out, believe it or not, that is south right here. So like I said, you don't need a compass bezel. You can do this with any watch. It works for any watch, this, this so-called Boy Scout trick. Uh, but what this does now is that if you hold the watch flat, you can tell which direction you're walking, north, south, east, west, and, and what degree marking. It's not the most accurate thing in the world, but then again, when they were navigating by the stars, that wasn't the most accurate thing in the world either. Uh, but it works. If you know you have to go south to hit a freeway, I guess you could just keep walking south uh, and you will get there. Obviously, when the sun is down, it does not work. You need the sun in the sky to get this to work. And then every hour or so, you just want to readjust. As the time moves, you want to readjust where the south is because as time moves, the sun moves the directions that the watch are, is showing you are going to move. So it's going to show you really quick with this watch. Again, so let's say, well, now it's 11. So we're going to point the hour hand at 11. And I'm going to rotate with this crown. I'm going to get the south in between, halfway in between the hour hand and the 12. And now that direction is south. And it works, and again, the Geochron was going to really help me with this. It works because when you're in the northern hemisphere, or, or really north of the 23rd parallel, the sun is always south of you uh, because it, it never really it never gets above the Tropic of Cancer. Uh, for you people in the southern hemisphere, you do the same exact thing, except instead of putting south between the hour hand and the 12, you just move the north, and then that position is north. And you can really see how it works. Again, my Geochron's not here, but let's say it was noon. So I will just change the time to noon. So obviously there is no halfway distance between the hour hand and the S, but we really are just pointing the hour hand now directly at the sun. So if the sun was at its zenith in the sky at noon, which it is, we know that that direction is south. Again, the only difference between these two watches, internal bezel, external bezel. So as it gets later in the day and the sun moves on its path around the sky, let's say it's, it's going to go set. And now let's say it's 3 o'clock. Again, this all happens with the passing of the time. I'm just advancing it so we can really see what's going on. We're going to put the S halfway between the hour hand and the 12. So, oops, sorry. 
it's difficult for me to see the angles. I'm pointing the hour hand now directly at the sun, our red dot. And I'm putting my south halfway between the 1 and the 2. So now that direction is south. So it continues to work as the sun moves through the sky. And again, this is going to be your handy method to tell north, south, east, west using the compass bezel. You don't necessarily need the compass bezel. All it does for you is it really gets the four cardinal directions down for you. So this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com with Watch and Learn, showing you how to use a compass bezel if your watch happens to have one. Uh, external bezel, internal bezel. If you like this video, please like it. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so at this time. If you have any questions or comments or want to share maybe a story you were lost in the woods and, my goodness, this helped you get out, <laughs> please put them down below and we'll be sure to address them. I do read all the comments and I do try to address every single one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.